guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about BeautyBay.com and first of all I'm not being paid for doing this. I just want to inform you guys living in Europe because Beauty Bay has just started to sell uh, Morphe brushes, the brand Morphe brushes. Um, before that it was really difficult to get Morphe brushes in Europe. Um, you could order online but then you have to pay taxes and everything is not that fun. But um, now Morphe brushes is being sold on BeautyBay.com and I have been really good at purchasing things from BeautyBay.com uh, previously. And I have gotten quite a lot of different sets from them. I have gotten some palettes and some brushes. And I just want to tell you guys because this is a really good brand for very little money. Especially here in Denmark and in other places in Europe. Cosmetics are really really expensive and it's nice to find a brand that sells cosmetics and brushes for a very affordable price. First I'm going to talk about two palettes and um, these are just random palettes and I know Beauty Bay doesn't sell a lot of palettes yet. I'm hoping that they will sell a lot more. The first palette I got was this 35B palette and this has got a lot of different colors. In this one it looks like <laughs> when my husband saw this palette he was just like, oh my god, you're going to paint? Are you Michelangelo or something like that? Uh, this just has a lot of different colors and I don't use this as much but I know for like very different looks and colorful looks I will use this palette. It has some great shades, beautiful blues, purples, greens. It's actually pretty cool because this is like a yellow line, a more orange line or pink line, orange line, then a pink line. Okay, a lot of oranges and pinks. And then they, there is this more, this is more red actually, this is more pink, this is more orange. And this is more green, purple and then blue. So it's really cool actually. I have never, I didn't notice that before. But this is really cool. And then my favorite palette, I know I only have two but... This is my favorite one, this is the 30. 5N palette. It's a neutrals palette. It's all matte shades and they are all neutral tones. This palette is awesome for like if you're getting into makeup and you just want a real good palette, standard palette with a lot of neutral shades. This is it. You get everything. There are for every skin tone, dark skin tones, fair skin tones. Just it's really really good. The thing about these palettes is that there is a lot of fallout, um, at least in my opinion. But these are really, really good. They're very blendable. They are really, really easy to work with. Um, and they are extremely cheap. This palette cost me 177 crowns. That's like, I think it's around 22 euros. And that's really, really inexpensive compared to like, I think the naked palettes are like 45 euros for a palette and you only get like 12 shades and I know it's not exactly the same quality but it almost is. These palettes are really really good even for me like I have a lot of makeup I must admit but this palette is really really good for me. Um, so I really recommend these palettes. Any of these palettes are really really good. Then they also sell brushes and I actually think that's the best thing about them. I got a set with a lot of different brushes. I'll just try to pull out some of them. These are just some of the brushes I bought in a set. Um, it cost like 250 crowns. I don't remember what it is but it's a really really decent price for like 12 brushes I think. Um, and these brushes are really really good. Um, for example, this shader brush, this doesn't have a name, that's the only thing I can complain about. But this is a beautiful shader brush. This packs on eyelid colors like a dream. This is amazing. Um, this foundation brush is just sad. It's just, I never use these brushes, but well. Um, a beautiful crease brush, a very, very precise crease brush. Very good. A dupe for the MAC 217 brushes also here. Very, very good for blending out that crease. And my now all-time favorite eyeliner brush. I have always been bad at applying eyeliner, but now this brush has saved me. This is extremely precise. I can get that beautiful eyeliner now. And it's just really, really skinny and 
beautiful. It's really easy now. Then there's this big stippling brush and this is actually really, really good. It's really soft and th these are normally really expensive, but this was in the kit. Then there is this powder brush. I used it to set my under eye concealer or just apply highlighter. Can I can also use it for and a bunch of other stuff. Actually blush is also an option. And then there is this blush brush. It's very, very dense. I can use this for blush as I did today. I can also use it for cream contouring. Um, actually anything. It's really also powder contouring. It's really, really nice. The only thing about this brush is that it really smells like goat. <laughs> it actually really does. I have washed it several times and it still smells like goat. I don't know if it's goat hair, I don't know, but it really has that goat smell. And none of the other brushes smells like goat, so this could be goat hair, I don't know. But it smells like it's been in a stable all day, pooping and yeah. But I washed it, it's clean, so that's the only downside. And then there is this big powder brush. Normally, these brushes are extremely expensive, but it was also in the kit and it's extremely good for bronzing. I used this today, I can also use it for my powder. It's really good. I will link this kit down below, it's really good. There are some other kits, I want to try more Morphe brushes because they're really good. The only downside, besides the goat smell, is that they shed. Um, when I received the kit, I just tried to use this foundation brush, but 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 several hairs were falling out. It was just a mess, and none of the other brushes were like that, fortunately. But it can happen, even when I use this powder brush, even though I've used it several times now, there are still some hairs falling out. But compared to the price, I just don't think it's it's a problem. I just when I think about, it, I paid. Here's my MAC 217. I think this brush costed me the same amount of money as the whole kit. So if some of the brushes go bad, I just can go, I can just go and buy some other brushes. I just, it's my blouse, yeah. I'm looking real disco ball today. Not just my nose. I just think that's really, really good price. So I just want to tell you guys, I'm not being paid. I'm, I'm not that important. So uh, I just wanted to let you know because in, in Europe and in Denmark, it's really difficult to get your hands on Morphe. And it's not that known in, in Europe yet, but um, I just wanted to let you know that they are now on beautybay.com. So this was a real quick video. I filmed for like 10 minutes now, I can see, so <laughs> not that quick, but um, I just wanted to let you know. And yes, I like Morphe brushes. If you want to me to do a look with using one of these palettes, let me know, and the brushes, let me know. But um, I think that's it. Um, I hope you thought this video was helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.